Hello, uh, welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Bike. Uh, my name is Maro Fins. I'm an lab architect within Juniper Education Services Lab team. In this learning bite, I'm going to show you how to enable passwordless uh, public key-based encrypted SSH authentication uh, on a Juno's device. So before we uh, start uh, with the how-to uh, video, uh, I just want to talk about a few facts about uh, uh, the, the public key-based authentication. To enable uh, public key based authentication on a Juno's device, you need to have SSH service must be enabled. And the authentication with public key uh, helps uh, with automation uh, in many scenarios. Like you know, if you have an uh, automation system like Ansible or uh, Puppet or any other type of, uh, or, or even Bash scripts, uh, Perl script, you can, uh, you can use the uh, public key based authentication uh, without being prompted for pa with password every single time your automation uh, program or script runs. This uh, makes it a lot faster to automate uh, or perform automation tasks. And obviously, uh, having public key-based authentication uh, can help you to avoid brute force attacks on Juno's devices by disabling uh, password-based authentication completely on a device. So uh, these are a few facts that you, you can consider, you know, uh, with the further ado, uh, let's uh, go to the demo. So I have a uh, CentOS VM here running, uh, which is basically uh, a, uh, on my lab network. And I have a VMX device that I'm going to connect first to show you how it looks like. So I have this VMX device that I'm going to log into my password. And lab is the user I'm going to demonstrate with. This user can log in to this device and it's a super user. You know, you can do things, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can do uh, various things, okay? So say I want to automate, run automation scripts are, uh, from my CentOS uh, server, right? I may have scripts on this server that I want to use uh, so that it can SSH to uh, the BMX device without any password. Uh, first of all, I need to generate SSH key. So I do SSH key gen. T RSA. Okay. And then it's going to say, okay, where are you going to save the file? In this case, I'm going to keep the default under my home directory. Enter. Actually, I already had a uh, key, so I'm going to override that. And then it asks for passphrase. Uh, now, to add additional security, you can add passphrase for my automation script. I'm not going to add any passphrase so that I don't get prompted for the passphrase, but you can add that extra layer of security every time you use a key uh, with the passphrase. So I'm going to press enter, enter again, and my key is generated. So uh, now I'm going to, I can see the key here. You know, if I do A, right click, okay, so this is my key that got generated right now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this key to my Juno's device. Okay, I'm going to SCP that to my device first. I'm going to do under var temp. I'm going to delete that later. Okay, so let's copy it. I'm going to go back to my device. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna configure mode. I'm gonna first uh, set system login user authentication lab is the user I'm gonna make change and then authentication and I'm gonna do uh, load key file so that I can load. You can paste the uh, you know key content configuration file as well. But that I find this one easier. So for temp ID, and there you go. Okay, and I'm gonna also disable the SSH. So I think my system services SSH is already enabled. So if I do a show, you'll see that I have SSH already enabled, right? I'm gonna change that to only key based, so no password based authentication. So to do that. I can do like this, set system services, SSH, I'm gonna do a question mark, it's called uh, 
Se sage. Sage is called. Uh, sorry. No password authentication. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. So uh, I'm gonna say no password authentication. Okay, so I'm going to show compare to see what I got going here. So I'm adding a key to the lab users and I'm going to say no password authentication. Commit and confirm first. Okay, it's always good to use confirmed uh, because you know what if my key doesn't work or uh, what if something goes wrong so that I can go back in 10 minutes, it'll roll back again. So this is a good way to test it. If it looks good, then we can commit it. All right, so I'm going to commit confirmed. Okay, so now it will be rolled back in 10 minutes, so that gives me some time to test my uh, whatever I did. Okay, oh, and I have to file delete var temp ID. Okay, so file deleted so that I don't have the key anywhere laying there. Okay, now if I do SSH 172 25 11 and 1, there you go, boom. I'm in without any password. So I can do like this, you know, CLI, show version, show system uptime. I can run both of these commands at the same time through my CLI, and that's how I can script it. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that. How to script uh, from a bash script uh, using uh, using this method. So uh, hopefully this helps. So now if I try, uh, you know, try logging with the password. Let's see. Let's go back to a different device that I have on the network. And then from there I do SSH 172.11.1, and I cannot. Okay, it's not gonna let me log in without a password. So uh, you know. I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.